consistent and quarterly uh, refresher courses for medical doctors so that you bring them up to date with the current practices uh, long after they had left medical colleges. Answer those questions as you can. Thank you very much for the questions. I will start with the issue of uh, COVID-19. COVID-19 is one of the most uh, tragic uh, experience we had all over the world. It started in 2019, December, and we thought the world has got to an end. But with the effort that was made in Nigeria and the strong task force that was headed by SGF of that time, uh, was Mustafa, uh, Nigeria has really done wonderfully well. We're talking about preparedness. Sometimes you learn from experience. And this is one of the reasons that we need to prepare. We are not praying for any one of all these emergencies, but this is something that is very crucial from the experience we had in the past. And then the legislature has a very significant role to play. And also the issue of funding that should be set aside to take care of such things if it happens. But we are not praying to have anyone by God first. And uh, it's not only COVID-19. Like now we have a diphtheria, which at least it's not so open because of the preparation we had during the COVID-19. That made us to take care of the issue of diphtheria that is not uh, even, people are not even aware that we have such issues uh, on ground. And this is because of how fully we managed the issue of COVID-19 with a very successful outcome, and it has now become a history. The second question is on the issue of qualification and the foreign students that read the MBBS. Uh, distinguished senators, we're talking about MBBS, we're talking about human lives. This is something that we have to be very serious about it. So that's why the exams are really sometimes so tough. And then there are so many differences. Some might read their medicine in China, some might read it in India, some might go to the United States. And these are areas that we have different incidents and prevalence of some infectious diseases and other diseases, communicable or non-communicable. You might go to China, you will never see a case of malaria in there. So to manage it is totally different from what you have in Nigeria. For that, sometimes our children that go to read abroad, they have problems with seeing cases, several cases that they did not manage there. So when they come to write the exams by uh, Medical and Dental Council of Nigeria, then they now have difficulties. And then this is the reason why we're talking about the issue of internship. Like some of the foreign uh, schools, they usually give time for our students to come back to their original uh, countries so that they get used to the cases and then move back to write their exam. Definitely with this, uh, the rate of passing exams will go higher. And also the training. There are schools that give all this training and mocks exams before writing the real MBCN examination. And I know uh, from Kano, there was a time we took over 102 female students to read medicine in Sudan. And when we brought them back, they wrote that exam. And over 70% of them, they passed the exam because we have some similarities between Sudan and Kano. Some cases, they've managed, they've seen them there, so they are not new to the end. Uh, in Nigeria. So, so this is a few of the factors. So what we need to do is to have this collaboration that some schools might be sending their students back home for the internship and also some courses. And even their exposure to the patient, the way they will be given patients to manage here, they might not have the opportunity to do it outside their countries. So, so these are some of the reasons and we have to look into it and see how we manage it better.